Namaste friends my name is Ritesh and today we are focusing on vinyasa flow part 3 so do watch my part 1 part 2 and this one the new one is part 3 so let us start with vinyasa taking your hands in namaskar mudra now inhale now lift your give gap between the feet inhale lift your arms up exhale down <clears throat> inhale lift your arms up and exhale down three more inhale up exhale down two more inhale up exhale down now see that your core is engaged your glutes are engaged inhale lift up exhale down last one lifting your heels up inhale up and now hold it maintain that position tall feeling neck and shoulders relax avoid elevating the shoulders and exhale take it down now both feet together if you can and interlace your fingers behind and squeeze back your shoulder blades now hold that position shoulders are relaxed now keep your shoulders down keep that core engaged and what are you trying to do here is lifting the arms up with an inhale and exhale you're taking it down two inhale and exhale you're taking it down so what are you trying to do is you're contracting your traps and your rhomboids but keep the shoulder down three inhale up exhale down four inhale up exhale down last one five inhale up and exhale down release and relax yourself now once again you will interlace the fingers you will bend the knee and you're getting into a uttanasan and you're lifting the hands up maintaining that position once again your neck and shoulders are relaxed breathe inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale and now inhale come up release and relax yourself tall feeling now just go for a lateral stretch so we need to warm up ourselves with get into the wide leg uh, stretches so i lift my arms up and what i do i cross it i cross it like this and i interlace it once again i check my neck and shoulders are relaxed my face muscles are relaxed and i keep now exhaling to your right inhaling back in center exhaling to your left inhaling back in center exhaling to your right come back in center exhaling to your left and now try to feel the stretch on your latissimus dorsi your obliques yeah your serratus anterior inhale back in center exhaling to your right keep that core engaged inhale back in center exhale to your left hand side inhale in center exhale to your right hand side back in center exhale to your left hand side back in center and release and relax yourself give some time rest and observe your breath breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out give some time rest inhaling and exhaling inhaling and exhaling inhaling and exhaling from there get into utkatasan chair pose and from chair pose you are getting into uttanasan you are holding that position neck and shoulders are relaxed face muscles are relaxed and breathe inhale and exhale feel the stretch and if you want you can straighten the knee but by straightening the knee the stress should not come on your back if there is no stress coming on your back you can actually straighten the knee otherwise best option is bend the knee hold that position focus on your breath breathe in and breathe out now take your right leg back maintain that position open the chest now avoid taking the head into extension hold that position breathe stretch and then from there get into a downward facing dog now push your right heel down left heel down right heel down left heel down give some time deepen the stretch breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now from there i'm getting into a plank position 
half plank upward facing dog now i try to open my chest see that my neck and shoulders are relaxed breathe and exhale into a downward facing dog breathe breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now inhale into a plank and then i go for a side plank now i hold that position maintain my vision is in front working on my obliques breathe in breathe out and then i take it down slowly and i turn around and i maintain this position activate my fingertips engage my core and i hold it there breathe maintain and then from there plank upward facing dog and a downward facing dog lift your right leg up bend it and take it in between the palm and okay now we are doing a wide leg forward bend so my legs are wide apart now depending upon you can be in this position also or you can be in this position depend now keep that core engaged tall feeling hands on the hip and you are going into a bend what is happening you're stretching your inner thighs and your hamstring as well now you will go down slowly but keep that your spine is straight you're hinging from your hip right and keep that core engaged it will support your lower back now hold that position maintain it for some time and see that you're not extending your <coughs> okay see that you're not extending your head okay hold that position breathe in breathe out and now let your arms go to the sides maintain that position <clears throat> breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out focus on your breathing and take it down slowly and not try to reach forward as much as you can and maintain that position breathe in breathe out check your neck and shoulders relaxed your face muscles relaxed breathe breathe so give at least five long deep breaths deep in the stretch and then come back slowly come back slowly maintain now you are moving to your right hamstring stretch so you hold that position move to your right hamstring stretch check your neck and shoulders are relaxed your face muscles are relaxed breathe breathe in deep breathe out deep and now come back in center and now i'm moving to the left hamstring stretch hold it there five long deep breaths breathe in breathe out one two three four and five now let's come back slowly maintain that position tall feeling breathe in breathe out from there let's take your hands back and now deepen the stretch behind hold that position inhale and exhale inhale your neck and shoulders are relaxed it's a mild inversion in fact you're enjoying that inversion breathe now take your hands out and hold your big toe and once again maintain that inner thigh stretch so you're holding it and don't forget your breathing breathe in breathe out and now come up slowly and now let's go for a twisting it's a basically a start of the twist i take my right arm up and i twist and i hold that position breathe in breathe out i uh, maintain it inhale again and now change lift up twist watch your thumb if you can if not look in front or look towards the floor options are fine you can take the way you want it and then come back maintain that position hold it there breathe once again right arm up hold shoulders are relaxed there is twisting in the trunk activate your fingertips see that your arches are not falling so your feet is not in it's it's actually all the three point connection and then change lift up and maintain breathe in breathe out hold it see if it is straight if you can relax yourself breathe breathe in breathe out 
Now, here, if you want, you can do a dynamic twist. So, being in this position, one inhale, exhale, two, it's a dynamic two, three, four, five, six. Got it? So, this is the way you can add a little bit of dynamic twist. Hold that position, breathe in, breathe out. And now, from there, we get into a sumo squat. So, whenever you're doing a sumo squat, see that your shin bone is perpendicular to the floor. So, that's my position. Now, if you have a knee pain, don't take it too much down, too much of pressure. You can just go this. This is also a good sumo squat. You don't have to actually go too much down, right? So, for me, I'm comfortable. But if you have no uh, knee issues, you can go down. So, see that your shin bone is perpendicular to the floor. Now, core is engaged. Don't dump your lower back. So don't get into an anterior tilt where you're compressing your back. Core engage, that will support your back. Now, look in front. Shoulders relax. And now, this is known as a goddess pose too. You keep your arms to the sides. So what you do here, why do we keep your arms to the sides? So you contract your traps and your rhomboids. But keep the shoulders down. You don't want to scrunch our levator scapulae and your upper traps. Now, what I do is exhaling going down. Inhaling coming up. One, two. Exhaling, going down. Inhaling, coming up. Three. Exhaling, going down. Inhaling, coming up. Four. Exhaling, going down. Inhaling. Now, last one, five, we are holding it isometrically. Static. Maintain. Maintain that position. Now, I can feel a nice burning inside, opening of the groin, and I hold that position. And I try to contract my back. And then from there, hold. Maintain that position. Now, push your elbow to the knee. Right? Shoulders relax. Chin tuck. Neck and shoulders relax. Focus on your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now, down and up. One. Two. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Three, exhaling down, inhaling up. Four, exhaling down, inhaling up. Last one, five, exhaling down and try to hold it there. Breathe. It, it's, it's a deep stretch, but maintain that position. Check your neck and shoulders, relax. Breathe in, breathe out. And then come back, relax yourself. Give some time, rest, breathe. Now, that was wide leg. Now, from there, you have different options. Okay. I was in this. I keep my hands and I go for a trunk twist. So, what I do? I keep my hands and I twist. Exhale. Inhale. So, I'm stretching my complete posterior muscles. Exhale. Inhale. I can hear some crackling sounds in my back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Come back, relax yourself, give some time, rest, breathe. Take a break if you find it's a continuous vinyasa flow. You want to take, uh, take a break in between. Do take a break. Okay, now from there, we going to a wide leg. You're going down. Hold that position. Now from there, you can go for a malasan. Although I'm not doing malasan because malasan gives a lot of pressure. So I go down. That's uh, my malasan position. But remember, friends, if you're having any issue with the knee, please skip that out. You don't have to do it. Now, tall feeling. Neck and shoulders relax. Press the elbow to straighten your spine. Hold that position. Hold that position. Breathe in, breathe out. Neck and shoulders relax. Now, from there, you can go for... A uh, kakasan, that is a crow pose. So from there, I keep my hands here, lift, lift, and 
That's my kakasin. I'm holding it, activating my fingertips. So the pressure on the carpal tunnel is less and I come back. That's it. Yep. And then from there, come back into a wide leg forward bend. Maintain some stretch over there. Back. Now from there, get back into a lunge. Push that heel back. Neck and shoulders relax and maintain. Focus on your breathing. A downward facing dog. Stretching the right, the left. It is also known as walking your dog. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Activate your core. Now, from there, inhale, plank. Exhale, half plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, a downward facing dog. Now, lift your right leg up. Stretch. You can straighten it like this or bend. Depends. And then, near to the right palm, hold it. Now, from here, hold that position. Activate the fingertip. Push the heel back. Maintain that position. Now, both feet together. Uttanasan. Hold it there. Now, when you're coming up, see that you're contracting the core. Now, inhale, lift the arms up. Use your thighs as you're coming up. Don't use your back. Breathe in and breathe out. Check your neck and shoulders. Relax. Breathe. <clears throat> so don't dump your back. Otherwise, what will happen is you're getting into anterior tilt. So avoid the anterior tilt and completely focus that you're engaging the core strongly. Take care. And then just maintain it. And now you're lifting the arms up. Neck and shoulders. Relax once again. Hold it position, isometric, static, maintaining it. Breathe in and breathe out. Now exhaling, going down slowly, inhale up. So now we are adding an isotonic, that is a movement base, going slowly. So inhale up. Now you're working on the thighs, you're engaging the core and you're doing a dynamic movement. Now you can do uh, feet together, a hip width apart, whatever you are comfortable with. Inhale and exhale. Don't forget to engage your core. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold, and go with a Purdu Hastasana. Engage the core, contract the glutes slightly, neck and shoulders relax, and exhale and get your hands into a Namaskar Mudra. Observe your breath, breathe in, breathe out. And that's it, friends.